I'm Callie Lewis, you're watching Geek Brief TV. I don't know about you guys, but this is one I've been waiting for. Every episode of Geek Brief TV is stored on these drives, plus four drives that are installed on two different Mac Pros. Yeah, I don't really like that because it's a mess and my data really isn't protected, so what am I gonna do? Welcome to the world. Welcome to the world. I got a drive up pro. <laughs> Let's unbox it and get it set up. All right, in here we, of course, have the beautiful Drobo packaging, the black, lift the flap up, and you have your software if you want to install it, and the cables. All right, and you see here Drobo Pro. Beautiful. Let's see if I'm strong enough to pull this thing out. This has eight drive bays. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I need help there. Thank you. All right. Now safely undo these. Thank you, Neil. Off camera. <laughs> this is the Drobo Pro. Inside, we see the eight drive bays. Read me. <laughs> and let's take a look at the back. In the back, we have USB, two FireWire 800s, and gigabit ethernet, plus a power switch. When they first announced Drobo Pro, I bought eight drives in preparation. <laughs> and then one went bad on another, on another Drobo that we had. And I replaced that today, I went to Fry's, $114 on sale, one and a half terabyte drive. Woohoo! So I bought that. So I have seven one terabyte drives and one one and a half terabyte drive. Halfway done. Here we go, one last one, and this is the same Seagate Barracuda, 7200 RPM. One terabyte drive. There we go. And just like Drobo, I mean, these slip in so easily. They just pop right in. There you have it, that's eight and a half terabytes of glorious redundant storage. Everything you've seen so far on this brief happened about 40 hours ago. We've been transferring all our Geek Brief TV related files from 13 external and internal hard drives. One of the Western Digital My Books had failed, which means I have to take it to TaylorMark for data recovery. I'm not worried, they're good at getting data back, but 78 master copies of GBTV are missing. Most of those are on the damaged drive, so I'll let you know if we're able to get those back. When we were done copying all those files this afternoon, Jobo Dashboard says I have 6.2 terabytes of storage capacity. I filled up 2.02 terabytes, so I still have 4.17 terabytes before I need to increase capacity. By that time, the price of two terabyte drives will have drop significantly, so this Drobo Pro should take care of the storage requirements of Geek Brief for the next several years. So why did it take two days to copy all those files? Is the Drobo Pro slow? No, not one bit. It's by far the fastest Drobo so far, especially when I used it to copy directly from a Mac Pro using the iSCSI Ethernet option. The thing that slowed us down was the three external hard drives that only had USB ports. It took five or six hours to transfer those drives, which each had about 450 gigabytes of data. The drives with FireWire 400 and FireWire 800 were, of course, much zippier. Now, the thing I want to point out with Drobo Pro is the thing that was new to me, iSCSI. The iSCSI Ethernet port is one of the major things that puts the Pro in Drobo Pro. I say that because to use it, you have to have a computer with two or more Ethernet ports. Mac Pros have that. You connect the Drobo Pro directly to one of your computer's Ethernet ports using a standard Ethernet cable. You cannot connect it to the network. You then connect your computer to the network using your computer's other Ethernet port. From what I've been able to learn, iSCSI isn't used in consumer devices. It's primarily used in data centers and it essentially delivers the speed of a fiber channel at a fraction of the cost. I'm dramatically oversimplifying here, but what matters is the speed. We used a free application called AJA System Test to get read-write speeds based on the different connections available on Drobo Pro. There's a link to download it in the show notes at www.geekbrief.tv. With USB, we got a read speed of 15.8 megabytes per second and a write speed of 13.8 megabytes per second. With FireWire 800, we got a read speed of 53.4 megabytes per second and a write speed of 43 
3 megabytes per second. But with iSCSI, it was even better. The read speed we got was 73.6 megabytes per second, and the write speed was 78.7 megabytes per second. So here's the question. Why am I so excited about Drobo Pro? Well, number one, I asked them to build it. I have two wishes. I would love, love, love a Drobo Pro with six or eight drive bays with FireWire and eSATA. If you're a regular computer user or a small business, Drobo is a perfect storage solution. That's how I use mine. But I'd love to keep all our video archives safely protected on a Drobo, and for that, I need more drive bays. I wasn't alone. Lots of photographers, video professionals, and small businesses wanted one, too. The reason I'm so glad Data Robotics built this is that data is only as valuable as it is accessible. When you have data stored all over the place, there are times it might as well be lost. Just having it all in one spot means I can connect to my data faster, find what I'm looking for easier, and use it to be more productive. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> there we go. This is Drobo Pro. So let's take a look. It's not in the shot.